nothing working, so. Now, mine always runs ads because I'm not a subscriber, so it might take me like a minute. <laughs> Ma'am. To, uh, longer to uh, find out that we're live. Oh, we need to change the title of things. I knew. Uh, yes. I knew. Okay. We are certainly, well. we're not, we're not doing a, a dating sim anymore. That was, that was intense. <laughs> yes. Uh, how do I, oh no, we can do it from, um, from Twitch itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, 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 oh well. Is it still working? Are you guys moving? Do you see yourself moving? It says that we went live. Nice, nice. Okay. That's good. I see news. you moving. I see that everyone is moving. Ooh -hoo. I see the chat. I see my thing. Yeah, I think we are live. Oh, wow. Okay. Huh? Oh, there's a lag. I keep seeing myself moving over here and not moving. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> it is laggy, but we are, we are dumb. live. And... I'm so dumb. Okay. Yeah, we still have one minute until the, you know, the, the start, the, the official start of the thing. Okay. Mm. Remember to mute Twitch on your computers. Yes, mine is muted. Excellent. So I don't hear myself double, which is a bad, which is bad practice. All right. Migration of my account. Mm -hmm. Someone's uh, saying the stream title lists the wrong game. Yes, I know. Um, unfortunately, I have no power over that because I am not in the Sasa Twitch um, account. I'm only connected to OBS with the uh um to to the the server but i cannot move that but um we can text lauren and tell her to uh to change that so be patient and we are uh, i think we can start so welcome everyone uh brianna if you want to do the honors all right so i'm standing in for lauren for the spiel uh, that we're giving um, so welcome to sasa archeo gaming today we are playing heaven's vault or rather Kate is playing uh, Heaven's Vault, uh, and I'm Brianna Jackson. You guys probably know me from Assassin's Creed stuff, but we are also joined today by very, very special guests, Dr. Monica Hanna and Daniele Salvoldi. I really hope I didn't say your name terribly. I'm sorry. <laughs> me and <laughs> me Oh my God, you should have been in my art history class. Terrible. Anyway, so what is Sasa? Save Ancient Studies Alliance. Our mission is to reverse the current downward trend in the study of the ancient world by engaging the public and bringing together students and scholars to share their passion for the study of the ancient world in order to inspire a vast new generation of students. And so we welcome you to follow Sasa on Facebook at Save Ancient Studies, Instagram at Save Ancient Studies, Twitter on uh, Ancient Save, YouTube at uh, Save Ancient Studies Alliance, and finally Twitch, um, Save Ancient Studies, which you are already on here, so you already know. <laughs> um, but we do have an event protocol that you need to follow, which is uh, be kind and respectful, listen and ask thoughtful questions throughout the event. Please be patient with technology and those administering it, Kate. Uh, <laughs> live events are live streamed on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. The uh, records, the records, records will be posted on the above platforms shortly after the event. There are spoiler alerts that you'll probably be alerted to after the spoiler. Um, then we ask you please to have fun. And if you are interested in becoming a recurring donor, um, and if you enjoy Sasa's live events, such as Archeo Gaming book clubs and reading groups, please consider uh, becoming a supporter of Sasa with a recurring monthly donation for as little as $3 a month. You can help us to save ancient, uh, help us to save ancient studies. And then you should go, please, to saveancientstudies.org forward slash donate to learn more. And uh, just a last thank you for joining us and i will turn it over to kate to introduce our guest thank you thank you for reading me to field uh with that spoilers comment um thank you everyone for being here 
uh, thanks for having patience with our with our setup. Um, of course, uh, you know something had to go wrong when when I'm at the commands and Alexander is not here. Uh, and thank you to our guest. Oh my God, we've uh, I've I've, fo I've been following her on Twitter for some time, uh, and I will sound like a crazy stalker. Uh, she is uh, the inspiration for the protagonist of the game that we will play. Uh, so please, please uh, welcome, uh, let us all welcome Dr. Monica Hanna. Uh, and please, doctor, tell us who you are. What are you doing? How did you end up here? No, we know that. Uh, it is our fault. Um, and we will restart the game in the meantime because the introduction is very slow. So we can, you know, we can take some time to introduce you. <laughs> Well, I'm uh, Monica Hanna. I'm uh, an associate professor of archaeology and cultural heritage at the College of Archaeology and Cultural Heritage in Aswan in Egypt at the Arab Academy. Um, I was actually surprised when I read that I was the inspiration for the game because they they had not uh, spoken to me or written me or anything. They They just have been following my work. Uh, throughout and then they created the game uh, based on that. So uh, mm -hmm. I was very flattered <laughs> when they told me that. I think it's uh, one of the coolest recognitions I've received. And um, it was a very pleasant surprise. Unfortunately, I, I never had the time to play the game. I rarely have the time to play games. So I'm also very excited to see it for the first time now. <laughs> Oh well, that is that is excellent. One second, I'm trying to I'm trying to. Talk. Brianna, could you type in the chat what the title should be? <laughs> Variable and multitasking. Um, that is excellent. I'm like I mean I would also be flattered if if I were to become a, a video game <laughs> protagonist. But then again, maybe that would not be the best idea. <laughs> so, um, but that's that is fantastic. So what I hear um, about this game uh, from the chat and from things that I have uh read around is that it's a non-linear game so there is not one um timeline or storyline with fixed points but you make choices in how you treat other people in how you interpret the language because it's a whole language to decipher um and there are not like there's not one ending or one single storyline it's like a multiverse of madness ha 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 to us marvel um in which multiple things can happen depending on your choices it is also um a very non-violent game which is new for us um and it is uh, an archaeology game in which you're supposed to discover an ancient civilization study an ancient civilization um and the more, the more you play, the more you discover. So I'm, I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if, I mean, I, I know that people in the chat have played it. I see some comments about how non-linear it is. Hmm. But I can see the inspiration for, um, you know, uh, from, from our guest in the <laughs> very practical attire of the protagonist who is not wearing the Lara Croft pants um, and boots and no weapons. I can see that. Hello, Daniele. I see you uh, in, in, on my other screen. Um, I've been here for a while. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I couldn't see you first. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm very curious to see what is going on. Well, this is a statue. So that is, that is something. Aha, uh -huh. a brick that opening. Okay. I feel like I have so much responsibility to watch the chat. <laughs> you do, you do. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is... Oh, so, okay, so we have ancient script. Um, how's everyone's hieroglyphic knowledge? <laughs> Sounds more like... <laughs> <laughs> well, this one was translated. This one's... <laughs> this one's uh, a heaven's fault. So... Question um, number one for our esteemed guest. Um, why did they choose you? I mean, apart from being like a general badass all around, but why, right, what, did, did they at least tell you, did you at least read why you were the inspiration? Or was it just I, out of the blue? No, I think because I was the anti-Indiana Jones. 
Would you like to elaborate on that? Or would you like to throw a, a firebomb? I mean, both both answers are good for this chat. <laughs> because I think the Indiana Jones is always this Western figure trying to presumably uh, save antiquities from the indigenous population. So this was the whole way around. This was an indigenous person trying to save their own cultural heritage. And I think uh, that was the, the inspiration for the game storyline. Hmm. Okay. I also see a, a, a weird, weird looking robot. I'm sorry. I'm very, I'm always distracted by robots. Um, also, as yeah. like as a gameplay mechanic, I'm always nice to robots because they can kill me. So I, you know, I generally don't trust. The interview, I, I can, I, can I say something? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yes. I I know. Know. <laughs> it works. It's, it's, uh, it's weird. I mean, hi everyone again. Uh, I, I, I'm the one who discovered the the game. I mean, I'm the one who told Monica, "Hey, you, you are in a game." What? <laughs> And the game and family. And I was like, yes. what, what is this? And, got, uh, and in the interview, they say e exactly this, but they also say the relevance of archaeology in the political debate, something like this. Um, mm. And because Monica was talking about how heritage is relevant to the community and how you need to involve the community when you're doing archaeology. And how I mean, Egypt also has been through in the last ten years a few a few things in terms of politics, and they were like, "We like this. We like the fact that the archaeologist is relevant to the society. And it's not just a treasure hunter, but is 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 looking for things that um, they have also political uh, meaning." And I think this is interesting in the in the thing. It's a completely different look at archaeology from what we've seen so far in games I normally. Mean, yeah, if you consider like the the last the game that we streamed, which is, <laughs> which is unfortunately the main uh, no the main narrative of <laughs> many archaeologists and the media when they speak about archaeology, it's the gold, it's the treasure, it's the mummy. Oh, it's yeah, not the exactly. culture, it's not the language, it's not the people. Right, and I mean many many times in in games and in media and everything, um, it's almost as if um the things that are like in Egypt belong to the government but not the people. So you need to answer to the government, but it's not the actual people's heritage, which is something I've always found baffling because no one would say that about a a white country like Italy. No one would say that, like, we, oh, we are not the descendants of, you know, the people who lived there before. But somehow, with Egypt in, in pop culture, it's always shaped that way, which it's, it's enraging. It's gross. Um, in the meantime, we are admiring sculptures and, and other... Um, hmm. Okay. This, <laughs> this looks like a university campus, if I've seen one. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, we're going to get scolded by our uh, superior, I think. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, and this is the... Oh, no, no, this is the wrong button. Okay, so we have a timeline. This is a, a mechanic that I haven't seen before, and I like it a lot. Okay, so we have several timelines. We have my life. We have... Okay, Miari. Miari? Miari? I butcher pronunciations. We have Elbereth, which I assume where our protagonist is from. Okay, from an orphanage. Okay. Then we have the university. And then we have new things. This is okay. Okay. I'm trying to understand how this works. Okay. All right. Oh. So we have Oh. Okay. Oh, protectorate. Mm, okay. I see. I hear. The Loop Temple, Fallen Emperor. Okay, so we have like a whole timeline to explore. And other moons. Okay. Huh. We're in space. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see what this um <laughs> what this woman is wants to yell at us. <laughs> Salim. <laughs> Okay, uh, I mean, let's be nice. I came as soon as I got your message, you're sure. <sighs> it's, 
is this a read? Your work is important to you? Hello, my work is important to everyone. Okay. <laughs> we're getting, we're getting, um, we're getting red to field. Okay. Um, well, this text goes really fast, doesn't it? Mm hmm. I can make it, um, slower if you want. Oh, it's fine for me. I mean, as long as you can read it, you're the Do one you playing. <laughs> Did ancient markings? There are hot. Oh, oh. Okay, we're gonna have to interpret. Help. Oh, Ludo is asking to make it slower. Okay, yeah, I'll make it slower. One second. So because there is a lag, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> uh, I. Do, I mean, sure. Okay. Uh, I mean, why not? Let's hope it's Holy Emperor somehow. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I have no way. <laughs> but I'm only guessing. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, let me... Oh, now I can. Okay. Uh, text speed. Let's go. Let's make it slower so everyone can... Okay, so what I'm seeing is some, well, apart from academic, you know, pleasantries and everything else, um, some some judgment of the people of, of Ajax, Yox, I don't know how to pronounce it, because they're like, oh, you mean he's from Ajax through and through, you mean he's soft. So I don't know if this is about class or is, this is about ethnic ethnic group. Um, so let's see what we can dig up. I know everyone in the chat wanted to say if you raise my stipend, but we're not playing Academia Simulator, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let me check. How is the chat going? Unfortunately, we're, yeah, we're not playing Academia Simulator. If we did, we would... <laughs> Maybe we should have the fire bombs. <laughs> yeah, that would be really fantastic. <laughs> They're coming uh, handy for sure. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> so we have to meet someone. Look at look at those those fountain. I assume it's a fountain on the on the wall. Somebody's quoting "Night in the Woods." in the chat, which is actually another very beautiful game. Ooh, I never played that one. I mean, it's that a my, cute... my knowledge of games is, is very basic. It was for free on Epic Games, so I, I, that's, that's how I, <laughs> I managed to find it. It's actually a very cute game. Wait, how do we go downstairs? Okay, can I just say Mistress... Is the, um, is the music in the game turned off? Someone is asking. Um, I did turn it off because I'm, I'm, my hearing is not the best. So if I have too many mm -hmm. uh, inputs coming in, I can't focus. Sorry about that. Yeah. That is that there's a problem with my ears. <laughs> it's a family issue. All right. Oh, so we're naming the robots. Um, are robots enslaved? <laughs> because he's calling her mistress. So is that a honorific or is he a slave? Huh. He's a servant, yeah. Mm. Is so easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Emperor was right. Perfect. And the Emperor's believed in South Africa, so it makes sense that the words would be almost this is okay. So it was holy. Excellent. Wow. Wow. Oh, so we've learned. Uh-huh. Do we have like a... Oh, yes, we have a, a dictionary. Okay, all inscriptions. Just updated. I, okay. Are you going to have an exam like in... Uh, oh, my God. Just <laughs> the, in the dating, dating simulator? <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. 
Okay. So we need to sail. I'm taking notes. Are we gonna are we gonna sail on a spaceship? Are we gonna sail on an actual boat? Ooh. I'm I'm very curious. Who is this man? What does he want? I know you guys are lagging behind. Yes. <laughs> you know that we, when I play the first time, they say that the the inspiration is is Monica mm -hmm. as the idea of what is archaeology and how you can depict archaeology. And they haven't taken any biographical detail. But when I played this part and the professor, well, the professor is a bit harsh, huh? but uh, she has, she made me feel about her mentor, yeah. her Professor Salima Ikram at the American oh. University in Cairo. And even the campus looks like the, this uh, yeah. slightly Islamic revival building with, uh, with sculpture and art and stuff. Uh, it's actually, it was like, like you know, <laughs> It's, it's actually quite cute, yeah. yeah. But it's definitely just a just a coincidence. A coincidence. I think, yeah. Uh, is it oh, women or two strong women with mm. strong ideas about heritage? And it's, it's a cool one in general. Yes. It is. It is. Yes. Also, can we take a moment to appreciate the fact that she's wearing actual dig shoes <laughs> and not <laughs> and not you know boots or anything else? Um, I, I mean, I don't know what's in the, what's in the pocket, in the, in the, in the little bag, but like, I, I bet there's like pencil and paper and everything else. Like if, if we're going, you know, by any archeological things, uh, yeah. should have gone really hardcore with the vest with like 500 pockets on it. Some of us <laughs> don't wear a vest. <laughs> I don't As know, I, I don't I know what, <laughs> what. All of you wear on the field. I never wear a vest. A lot of inspectors wear wear the the signature vest. <laughs> Please, <laughs> Monica, what yeah, do you wear? I, I, I don't find them that useful. I find people wear them just because they want to look like they're an archaeologist. <laughs> vest, <laughs> <The> cosplay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, that is fair. That is fair. Um, uh, I'm thinking, what I'm do thinking people? That people who want to cosplay archaeology wear in Italy, but uh, it's usually a, a white linen shirt. I don't know mm. if that works for Egypt as well, but like if someone is a, a tenured professor of archaeology in Italy, they usually wear a white linen shirt and like khaki pants. That's like the <laughs> uniform. Well, if you see my photos last week uh, with students in the field, I exactly wore a white <laughs> li linen shirt and the khaki trousers, exactly. <laughs> So that is how it was. <laughs> it's international. It's yeah. international. It was. I, I need to get on, on, on with the program. I wear old t-shirts when I'm on the field. <laughs> yeah, I wear uh, graphic tees and black hoodie and black. everything is black that I wear, which is probably the worst thing in the sun to wear black, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm all in shades of red and orange because I don't know. Maybe maybe I have a queen complex and I want to be easily identified. Um, <laughs> in the meantime, I see that the the gentleman with whom we are speaking is also not wearing um, Western clothes, which is a relief. Relief. Uh, huh. <laughs> but he's also kind of talking shit about archaeology, so you know. <laughs> Oh, speaking, so uh, I'm reading what other people are wearing. This reminds me of that movie that I hate, The Pyramid, where the girl, <laughs> ah, she's wearing yeah. shorts in in the middle of the Western desert, and she's got like a long sleeve shirt and a scarf. And I'm like, how do you have long sleeve, but you're still wearing like these like booty shorts? I don't understand that. <laughs> so I hate that movie so much. Um, so I throw that out there. That works. Um, in the meantime, yeah. this guy told yeah. us a story, and there was also some meta gaming about things are not linear, and stories are, uh, you know, can be can be told in many ways, and people choose what stories to tell. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. It's good to have, you know, to have confirmation that we did indeed translate properly. Hmm. I 
don't know, kind of kind of assumptions there. I don't know this culture with which we are dealing, but I wouldn't say that a heavy brooch is necessarily for high status people. Um. Um, chat, in the meantime, um, if you have any questions for our guests while I'm trying to figure out what to answer to this pompous ass who's wearing heels, uh, please put them in the chat. Um, I get I get angry <laughs> at video game characters and then I lose focus. <laughs> uh, let's see what he's teaching. Oh, so we're looking for a roboticist. Okay. I assumed we were looking for a his like historian. Okay. I bet you it's gonna be important later. Like I, I, I bet you it's gonna be important in like two hours game. Uh, sure, show me the things. Oh lord. Okay. Oh. Ah. Help. <laughs> uh, what is the chat saying? Mm. Philology. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not a philologist. I have no idea. That thing philology. looks like a, a mountain. Um, banished. <laughs> okay, let's try right. banished. Okay. Let's go with the drama. Uh, rebels? Is she banished? Is she, rebels? Is she being banished? Is that a passive? I don't know. Oh, robots. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Okay, it's okay if you don't know. Um. All right. Uh, 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 we we have no idea. Okay. Uh, let's let's see. Um, robots. But just because I see the thing with three legs at the beginning. So I'm like, clearly that's a walking machine. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but I thought there weren't any robots. I mean, maybe they weren't because they were banished. I'm just saying. Oh, we have a ship. Okay. Good that he has no idea. I am excellent. We're very okay. I'm very confused <laughs> by many social dynamics here. Oh. Uh, Monica, what what are you what do you make of this game until now? How do you feel about it? Are you a gamer at all? First no. of all. <laughs> No, unfortunately, I um, I never have the time. <laughs> Fair. Some, I wish... some people, some people have real jobs. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. I no, I I'm waste joking. other things. <laughs> um, I rarely have the time, and I think I also use a Mac, and I'm not sure how these games play on Mac. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fair. That's fair. Um, I'm. I mean, I, I usually play like big, like big games, um, and this is a pleasant surprise for me. Should we be nice to the to the robot? I think so, right? I don't yes. see why not. Because it could rise up and destroy you with all of its robotic friends. That's fair. You've seen it's, those movies. <laughs> that, that's, yes, yes. You know what? We've learned enough. Uh, let's see. Nice place. Uh... So is this uh, an adventure? Like a puzzle adventure game? Is that what this I... is? I don't know. I mean, it looks it looks like we're we're like doing actual archaeology. Like we are applying the yeah. principles of archaeology to a game, right? We're learning bit by bit, and we're putting together the evidence and eventually mm -hmm. forming hypotheses and seeing if they're right. From what I'm understanding, 
Okay, yeah, we're getting some confirmation that it's adventure in the, okay. in the chat. Okay. Good. Chat, can you confirm <laughs> there are no fire bombs? No arson. Oh, that's sad. That's well, maybe there is arson. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> You know, we could always one day go back to Hermopolis and, and destroy the temple again. Uh, yes. Um, for people who weren't here during that stream, um, Brianna, do you want to tell our listeners and our guests what you did in Assassin's Creed oh, Origins? I, I, I burned down Hermopolis in Assassin's Creed Origins because I, I don't like it. <laughs> they, they got the town completely the other day, it, it was being burned. They were burning uh, solid waste on the side. Oh. I saw actually steel fire on her. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they, they weren't destroying the, the baboons, though. I, I, I imagine. No, no, no. The baboons are quite happy. I saw them. Oh, the big ones, giant baboons. Yes, yes. You see, and that's what I expected to see in that game. And they were they were small, and I was very unhappy with this. And they also made an Abu symbol. A temple cut into a cliff and it was it was offensive to me so i burned it <laughs> yeah you did win <laughs> they also put wait what was the other thing for which we committed arson um oh yeah there was everything uh, yeah the tomb of ranas <laughs> ranas is a tem uh, tomb yeah yeah with uh with nobleman's pictures on the walls and we're like no 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 this is not royal we we will burn everything it's actually not only archaeology. I mean, it, you don't, I don't remember whether you actually excavate here. You do some like survey of sites in this game. And then there is uh, more uh, interpretation. It's like more the work of a historian with, uh, with the. Yeah, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's a good one. I mean, it's really, it's a complete uh, experience. We interpret the past, man. The whole idea is like, what happened? And you only find it by digging up things and then analyzing sites and uh, reading texts which is cool i think it's a cool um, you need to look at the map to know where you have to go huh? or um uh, i i have arrow. um uh, there are there are uh, arrows telling me where to go oh, okay. i have no idea how to drive this let me tell you archaeologists don't do this um i mean not not that i know of oh my god god this is this is my nightmare i hate driving games <laughs> this is <laughs> yeah it's uh, the annoying part of the game i remember it's like the only thing i really feel since like is this driving thing i i hate all of this um i'm oh, oh sh crap okay yeah i we missed the turning okay um please your <laughs> oh, oh god okay uh oh <laughs> wrong turn, wrong turn. Yeah, I, I fucked up. That's okay. I'm not I'm not really good at this. Um chat, does does the protagonist have a trowel? Because we all know that that's how you are an archaeologist, right? That's how you distinguish an archaeologist. If she doesn't have a trowel, then then maybe oh my god. I'm I'm so bad at this. What about a pickaxe? It's gonna, it's gonna take us a minute. Uh, listen. Um I don't know. I don't know if you if you could use a pickaxe when you don't know what you're doing. Wow, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> this, this, this is terrible. Okay. They don't think she has a trowel. Okay. Uh, okay, so I did not miss this turn. This is, this is going much better. There might be an autopilot. I wish. I have commands to turn, so I'm not an autopilot. That's a problem. Oh, okay. Okay, we made it. We made it. <laughs> this is this is bad. This is bad. Um. Oh my god. It's that was a sombering experience. Um, a farming moon. So we are in a rural environment now. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming, right? If it's farming, where are they farming? Oh. Okay, you're not gonna see it yet. Maybe you'll see it now. It's very lush. This is Endor. This is the moon of Endor, <laughs> with all the with all the forests. Oh my! It's Yucatan. It's you. 
And we're gonna we're gonna get the, the giant heads. Oh, there's a pig. Okay. Breathe the air. Look oh my god. I cannot breathe. Well, yes. We got statues. Okay. Well then. So the this um ah the robot person that we're looking for has come here for unknown reasons, but I assume that it's because there are ruins. Right. Oh. Okay, so... So we need to go up and away? Okay, right. Good, good, good. This way. This is pretty. Let me see. Oh, so we can interact with the rice. Do they grow anything else in here? Well, I don't I don't know. You know. It's an animal. It's a pig? It's a very ugly pig. No offense. <laughs> but it's it's, uh, it's uh, pretty ugly. Oh, don't tell me I can't walk here. Do, do... There's mud everywhere. Well, yes. Oh, okay. So maybe people don't want to talk to us, huh? Oh, there are Heaven's Vault books? Really? No way. No, somebody in the chat said <laughs> They're reading. I see. Okay, there are people. No, don't touch the rice. Stop touching the rice. No. We gotta talk to people. Oh, they just got released. Okay. Up this way. All right. So we got we got the right on the right path. I somehow suspect that things are not as idyllic as they look. But that's just me expecting, you know, bad shit to happen all the time. Mm -hmm. For reasons. Okay. The chat is saying things about the books. Ooh. Ooh, we got a we got a link in the chat here to go find them. Thank you. Thank they you. Were chat. Uh, they were released uh, re relatively recently, apparently. A few months ago. That's right. Two books. Oh, wow. The expanded universe? That's excellent. Greetings. Who are you? I like those <laughs> pigs. I think they're <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh wow! Excellent. Uh, I don't know if you if you saw the the reply of the guy yet about pens. Yeah, we do not keep any of those in our pen. Excellent. Uh, maybe someone here will talk to us properly. Are we talking about slavery? Are we equating people to pigs? My pigs okay. need me. <laughs> My pigs need me. I'm sorry. Okay, this this is um this is taking a rather disturbing twist. Okay. I'm in for you. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, let's show him the antiquities. Oh. Oh. Oh oh oh. We're getting to the social commentary now. Monster. 
Da hast du ein Beispiel. Ah. Okay. Um, we got um, we got some political commentary here. Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, criticize. You you clearly enslaved these people. Okay. They protect them. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> I, I'm sure they're <laughs> right. Um, like like um, no, I'm not gonna say that. I I was about to say something, but I'm not going to say. Say it. No, no, no. Uh, we get into trouble, anyways. Like uh, several white empires were protecting um, non-white countries, you know, and and know better about their antiquities and and customs and and what to do. Right, exactly. <laughs> right, you know, uh, some 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 places that drink a lot of tea. Uh, this is. Uh... I, I don't know if there are any robots, ma'am. We we need to we need to look. So we came here. We came here to look for for a roboticist, and now we we found out that we are parts of an enslaving society, and we have we had no idea that we were enslaving people. This is yeah. This did take this did take a turn. Oh my god. So maybe yeah. that was uh, she meant when the, uh, she said he's uh from Ajax through and through. Was that? Yeah. Uh, maybe that. He's a, he's a colonizer. Okay, ma'am, we're not we're not playing. Guess my ethnicity. Oh. Okay. Tall All right. This is this is um okay. Please keep it quick, okay? Thank you. I honestly these people are right to not want to talk to her. Um but <laughs> <laughs> Alia smells of Ioxian hegemony. <laughs> she does. She does. Okay, so um yeah. wait. What is yeah, they don't seem surprised to see me. Hello, you're part of the colonizers. Or to see you. That is well fair. Fair. She's not from Ajax, she's from Elborez. She was just uh But for raised... them But for them she's one of the Ioxian. To uh, a village in uh, Swan or Luxor when they come from Slavic. <laughs> some Cairo. You Cairo people. No. <laughs> you, oh, you from the big cities. Stupid <laughs> Hydras. <laughs> No, it's not almost buried in the grass. You're, you're going to see it in like five seconds. There's nothing buried. It's just literally plopped on the grass, but that's okay. We love it. Yes, no backseat playing. Yeah, also this this is like a, a, a with a bad this moment. Um, okay. First of all, let's ask what kind of crystal is it? I mean, maybe. Uh, let's see if this shard is enough to find him. Maybe. Oh, wow, this this. He oh, is best of him. Huh? Yeah, he's he's like. Uh... He's the servant. Should shut up. <laughs> please, please be quiet. Aha! I knew there was an inscription. I knew. <laughs> Turn you off. <clears throat> Symbols in the ancient script. I need to translate. Oh my god, this thing yeah. vibrates every time there's something to translate. Okay. 
Holy. <clears throat> and this word is also okay. So if holy is the, the two squiggles with a point in between and the two things on the left, this might be goddess, right? Because the same concept, if, if I'm understanding how this language works, then similar yeah. symbols, similar meanings. Uh, and I'm going to go off a limb here and say the two squiggles are water uh, and see if that works. It's also like a very fertile planet. So maybe there's plenty of water here. Wow. I'm, you know, I'm so good at ritual things. We all know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Questions. Do we have any other? Okay. That's a good question. You're going to see it with a little delay. We're debating if the things, if the, the stone that we found and the stone in the brooch come from the same source, which might be. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's see. Oh, no, I'm going to have to drive again. I hate it. I hate it. I, I don't want to do any of this. I regret. Instant regret. <laughs> Next time I'm going to have Alex play. <laughs> ah. Nice. The crystal. This is... Okay. Okay. Oh, I see the chat that I can turn off the vibrations in option. Fair. It just, just as I said that the, the pad went went bonkers. Okay. The crystal we found and a moon. Also, oh, we're doing we're doing geology now. Excellent. Excellent. Uh a dangerous wild. Okay. Clouds and stores. Hmm, rem reminds me of some places where I've dug, to be honest. Not Egypt, but some other places. Uh, I mean, we better find out. It's not like we're not going to follow him. Where all have you dug, Kate? I've dug <laughs> many places in Italy. <laughs> some more pleasant than others. Uh, I've dug in Sudan uh, with big museum. And I've worked in Greece, not on a dig, on a survey. And I've, yeah, that's, that's about it. Oh God, we need to awesome. go to the Iolite I moon. Okay. Okay. Um, I think now to, to put me to shame, we should ask our guests whether they have dug and worked <laughs> while I try to not die and crash <laughs> everywhere. Um, I excavated in Kharga, in Luxor, in Dashur, um, and I did survey work in 120 sites in Sharkia, in Delta, Jesus. North Sinai, Port Said, and, <laughs> and South Sinai as well in Sarabit al Khedem. Wow. Um, could you, since not everyone following us in archaeology, could, could you tell us what um, survey is? Because not every not everyone knows how archaeology works, um, and I don't blame them. Because before I got into archaeology, I had no fucking idea how archaeology worked. I'm dead again. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so if you can explain what survey is while I try not to die. Um, a survey is when you basically you do not excavate, but you uh, um, um, you basically are do an archaeological survey by putting the sites on a map and describing what is there, how does it look like. Uh, usually it's prior to um, excavation. So I did this work to create a complete uh, inventory of the archaeological sites for the Ministry of Antiquities in Egypt. It was a finished project. Oh my God. How long, how long did it take? It took I mean, it took six years. I worked here there. Salute, annoyed. That's that's a. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, that's a long time. I mean, the the one survey I did, it took us like a few months, but we were only in like in one site. Um, okay. 
and we were just i don't know if that's how it works in egypt but like in greece we were disturbing farmers um they were yelling at us they were throwing stuff at us um they were they were angry because we were pestering the sheep um we didn't want to we just had to you know pass and the sheep were in the way um but yeah so <laughs> i don't i don't want to assume it's the same everywhere but people were not very happy to see us yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, um, actually, in Sharkia, people were fine. Um, we rarely had hostile local people. Um, on the contrary, usually people invited us to have tea, to drink water. I, I don't remember even a single incidence of, of hostility. That is... that's lucky. The, or... the only hostile time was when I was in Dashur and they were cross-shooting because they were looters and they were two gangs oh. fighting. I was caught in the middle. That was the only time I was in a seriously hostile time. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe we should talk about looters then. And yeah. what what is being, well, what is being done to prevent this? And like, how do you, how do you fight? Because I know that, I know from having read stuff, um, that some of your best work has been like dealing with looting, and preventing yeah. it and fighting it. So if you want to tell us about that while I'm trying not to crash on asteroids, <laughs> I'm sure everyone would be more entertained. Um, I think... Uh, if, you I mean, can. It, if you can. Sure. I think... Um, I mean, I was involved because the revolution happened uh, in the tw on the 25th of... Uh, January, then on the 28th of January 2011, the police withdrew from the different sites. And since then, um, all sites were left to, yeah, not since then, until I think 2014. Mm -hmm. so, no, end of 2013, most of the sites had very poor uh, security. And so what we tried to do is to, the police had left, they, for them to return, it was quite a long process. And um, uh, I went to, to document this looting to, to bring attention. And we've managed that many times to move, for example, army tanks to protect certain sites. Jesus. To, uh, to move sometimes the police. This is what we have uh, been been trying to do. And of course, documentation. We use documentation using satellite images to document the material culture that was left behind by the looters, to track what was coming out on the market, on eBay, on Facebook. Yeah. Oh my God. And to create awareness of the serious problem. So um, I remember the talk that I gave um, it was um, fighting looters one tweet at a time. <laughs> so with each tweet, we were raising awareness. We were getting people to get involved. We're getting others to report that, oh, we have looters at this cell and we would call the police and the police would move or people would go and try to send them away. So we've been trying to do that. That's what I think actually uh, the looting, like the anti-looting part was how I first started following you on Twitter uh, because I follow a few people who do that for um, for the Italian army because we have mm. like a whole core of the army doing that and someone was retweeting your tweets. Um, and so I started following you even before I knew who you were because I was already friends with Daniela at the time, and then I put two and two together, and I was like, oh, clear, of course, of course it's her. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, yes. Let me see if chat is asking some, uh, some things. Brianna, how's the chat doing? I just got distracted by a cat that's staring at me. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Bri Brianna has three cats. Uh, she's, she's dangerous. <laughs> um, what does Dr. Hannah think so far? of the game yeah i think it's cute <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's um it's nice also to see that um she gets to speak with the local she does different things uh, oh, now, Twitter. now we have teletransportation <laughs> so don't worry kate other people were also getting lost on the uh 
the driving <laughs> river oh. things. Okay, that's that's good to know. I wonder if the hop <laughs> worked. I mean, yeah, so so he can teleport. Okay, let's see. Nope, I touched the wrong button. Um, hmm. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh, now I can see the chat. Thank you uh, for making uh, the account. And... I was trying to copy paste, but uh, somebody was faster. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, oh, someone is asking, um, have any of you dug where all their digs have been done? Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, but I'll leave, I'll leave the professional archaeologist answer first. Did you dig where other people have dug before? Mm -hmm. um, yes, I have. I hmm. almost all the places where I dug before. Um, um, it's quite were, common. Yeah, it's uh, quite common. Yes. I mean, some sites were explored in the 19th century with different methodologies yes. and it's very useful to go back now and uh, and see that uh, they ignore things or they even the if you check what they the, the earth they removed uh, and you go and check you what is there you, yeah you see that you find things that they, at the time they probably overlooked or didn't think they were important and um, it's always yeah yes right it happens it happens often yes yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Oh. This is a long ass inscription. Um, but I see the signs for holy at the end. So I think this may be pilgrims because they're bringing something to the mountain of the gods. This is me going absolutely bonkers with this shit. Um, wow. But who knows? So oh. this is not pilgrims. Uh, I don't know what this one might be. But if the, oh. what is that you with the dot? We, maybe it's a, maybe it's a pronoun. Is we a pronoun? Uh, no, it's not a pronoun. Uh, I don't know. Are we, um, are we convinced? <laughs> my, my attempt. Okay. We is a pronoun. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see. Also from the chat, which I can't see now. So um, there's a there's another question. Go go go. Uh, Thank whether you. you guys could remember or provide a specific example of something overlooked or prioritized at a dig that you redug at. <laughs> Translating. Um, have have I lost you all? Are you all are you all alive? <laughs> Just reading what she's doing. Okay. Uh, I. Okay. There is God. Right, I can see that. I see holy, like the whole thing. Oh, okay. Do you need to drag it into the thing or what? Yes, I wasn't understanding what I had to do. Holy, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so, hmm. I mean, if water is two squiggles, maybe light is three squiggles coming down. Hello, Akhenaten. Can you read me? Can you hear me? <laughs> I'm just assuming. Follow the holy light towards the holy light. I, uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't see any. Well, I see some similar signs in banished, but. Pilgrim has it, no? Oh, Pilgrim has it too, right? And there. And pray also. Bless. So bless. 
Ah. Okay. But we're not sure about pilgrims. But we're not sure Drake. about anything. I mean, honestly, this this also shows you why I was absolutely shit at hieroglyphs. Uh, and I still am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. New finds will be... Ooh. You need to go back to the campus, not to check with the linguist. Is, is this how it works, right? Ooh. Uh, Kate? I think so. Oh, but wait, there's more. There's jewels. How did this guy get his hands on all this stuff? Did he loot? Oh, God. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, okay, we got this. We got this. This one is a phrase. Run together. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. This one is water, we're fairly sure, right? This is us. This like we, us. Yeah, water, uh, us. Yes. The squiggles were the water. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we got the pronouns. Perfect. And this one is... S squiggles. Yay. Bravo, Kate. It's like the Valhalla, the Valhalla inscriptions, remember when they were dropping things? And... Oh, yeah, 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 like in the yeah. Isa language. I wish I had a thing. <laughs> okay. Um, waters... Link us? I see like a, like a bridge between squiggles. I don't know. I don't know. Heal. Heal. I'd, I'd... Bless. Look at bless and look at him. There are the two things. Not rains. Oh, you're and... right. You're right. Well, pray and bless. Then, yeah, probably heal. So we're going to the thermite. Ooh. Now, what's inside? Well, I don't know. Maybe another inscription. Must have belonged to a heavy drinker. Ma'am, we are making oh, assumptions here. Okay, there's a lot. Okay. Uh, more text? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, Philology 3. <laughs> yeah, this is like Philology 101. I did not train for this. I dig in the dirt. <laughs> Well, I mean, you did find ceramics just now. So. I'm a geologist. I don't, I don't do texts. I only do the... I was told, and I can tell you who did, um, by someone, oh, I am an Egyptologist. I don't care about the archaeological context. And all my hair went white and then came back brown, but not as brown as before. <laughs> That's another problem. It, yeah. it, it is. It yeah. is. Mm, so to, to spill some tea, um, the European way of doing Egyptology has been for the longest time not based on archaeological principles, but on philology, basically, and art history. Um, and basically like Eurocentrism. Um, so you will still find people who publish books on Egyptian archaeology who have never dug in Egypt, or never been to Egypt, and I know that Brianna, this is one of the pet peeves of yours. Yeah, I don't understand why people can go, uh, not go to Egypt, and then, yeah, I just, I mean, you don't have to necessarily dig, uh, and not everybody has those opportunities, which is okay, but you should at least attempt, you, you know, go once, you know, just to, to see what's there. Uh, in person, go to museums, go to the actual monuments. I, I just I think that's important, but other people think you don't have to because everything, everything has been published already. Everything has been um appropriated already. Mm. One second. Oh, um, I think <laughs> while while I'm trying to not die again. Okay. Okay. Um, I think we did have a question in the chat before about um, things that are overlooked on older sites in which we've worked. So I'm gonna throw that question out there for our guests while I'm trying to not die. What oh question? God. Oh my god! Um, some, an example of things that have been overlooked in older excavations. Or, you know, not, uh, let's say, not excavated properly. Ooh, ruins, ruins. Nice. 
It's usually um uh pottery, uh, human remains, animal remains, um objects. We've done a lot of pro progress in in these, especially human remains and and animal remains and pottery. Yeah, they really just sometimes they were just like not considered important and then now we look at them with different technology with a different eye and it's um, it's useful it is. Uh, yeah, the, cool. the, many of the archaeologists of the 19th century archaeology archaeology proper archaeology is the end of the 19th century with anyone that did work before was just digging so no stratigraphy no proper documentation. Many excavations, even until the 1920s, 30s, are poorly documented. So we go back and check again. And uh, even the measurements of what was discovered, what is published, is sometimes sloppy because because of many reasons. Uh, sometimes the excavations were very quick. In a month, they, they went through the whole site. And so very very little time to do everything and um, also the technology of measuring and yeah and also they they were they were usually looking for objects to put in museum right Until petri they were just looking for pretty objects to bring back home for their museums and so they pottery was not of importance um human and animal remains were not of importance so they just wanted texts and pretty objects to show fancy stuff that yeah they make so, sense <laughs> all the archaeobotanical references were were, mm -hmm. were not taken all the specimens the textiles. The, yeah the plants the textiles and all this were were not taken it's also because of how they were funded or how they came here with grants from museums from patrons and these people they wanted things in return they wanted objects mm -hmm. so they would excavate tombs mm -hmm. and uh, where it's easy to find uh, objects, but they would not excavate other sites, for example, cities and villages. But even when they were excavating those, they would just look for the, the big things to show off so they can get more funding for the next season. So it was really into the, the system. Which I mean, it's which not is... the system uh, either, because we a lot of people excavate with fundings and these fundings need to bring back some Yes. Well, no, you, you can't take the objects out of the country anymore, mm -hmm. but some you need to show off that you found uh, big things. Yes. You're right, because it's an investment. So clearly yeah. you need to prove that the investment is, is fruitful, right? It's, giving, it's bearing fruits. I'm yes. Gonna, oh my god, am I gonna crash? Yeah, I may crash. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god. Um, we had a fantastic example of something that was dug earlier than we did and overlooked um in the site where i work in salinunte get oh get far i missed the turn um so we're digging in the urban sanctuary um and it was dug quote unquote completely um in the 1800s and then uh what they did was they thought they had reached the sterile ground uh inside the temple and they stopped um, what we found out is that they had not reached shit. They had reached a meter and a half thick layer of Hellenistic trash, like literally trash, because the temple had been had stopped being used as a temple. Um, and so they had filled it with trash and raised the, the entrance and everything else. And underneath there were intact layers from the classical and archaic period. So now we're pulling out everything because the, the old excavators were like, oh yeah, we've reached, you know, this is, we're done. And they left the best stuff in there, uh, so we're very grateful for them. <laughs> but that's that was questionable archaeology. At the, well, it wasn't archaeology at the time, right? They were kind of doing the same thing, less um, colonialist, because it's still Italy. But you know, still wanting to find the cool stuff. And then as soon as you stop finding, it's like, yeah, we're done. It's good. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Um. We'll be right back. Okay. Light move sail circle. Oh, 
Oh my god, yeah, chat, don't say that I can't crash because I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna like try the, the dynamics of the game and crash, so worry not. Um what do we think this word is? I mean I don't think it's circle. I don't think it's sail. Maybe go? Maybe path? So bless is wrong because it looks very similar to bless. It might be, right? So But light is right and water is right. So but this one like maybe it's a path. Maybe. Um in that case, the bless is a wrong a wrong one? But I don't know. Maybe the banished one is do not return because it's crossed and that's the path crossed. I don't know. Somebody says it looks like water, but without the water elements. The two signs at the extremity. Oh, it does. Oh, yeah. oh, is that wind? Maybe. So it's a sail. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Oh, is it to sail? Wait, sail the verb. Or sail this. I don't know. Let's try. Let's see. A light sail. I don't know. I don't know. I. I attempt. Okay, thank you. It comes from the same source as the fragment of sail. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh God. All right, we are. See you right shortly. Listen, listen. I'm I'm stressed. <laughs> Do not give me this kind of stress. I'm gonna, I'm going to test. I'm going to crash the game, and <laughs> crash the ship. I'm going to crash everything. Um... Oh no, I missed the turning. Oh, it was a right turn. It was another right turn. Okay, okay. Who gave you a license to drive this thing? I mean, you can't I'll, get. Excuse a... you. I learned. I learned I to learned drive in Italy. <laughs> in Genova, of all places, <laughs> on a truck. So. <laughs> You know, this is a, this this is too much space. There are not enough, you know, acute angles and everything else that I can that I can fight for. Um, all right, we we need to report. We can also wait. Uh, chat, can I ask the guy uh, if my translations are uh, are correct? The the historian dude. Where is he? Okay. Well, first of all, let's go. Let's go see the professor. Yeah, I think the man, yes, the historian guy down there will tell you the texts, the grammar. Excellent. We'll confirm your, yeah, we'll help you to translate. Mm -hmm. But first, the boss. If, you know, and I'm, then... I the refer to you read things and you, you know. Come again? If you go oh, to the library. The library, you're right. Oh. You can report on, on the text you discovered. Uh, you will maybe. find out that... Um, we cannot because we're being called to order. Oh. Someone someone is pissed. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go. I must have been gay to I love the rock. I love the <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you. We found inscriptions. Um, so we found a crystal. Let's let us let us start with that because I don't know if she knows about the slaves. I don't know if she's politically hooked in and with with people who know about slavery. Who we, we never know. We never know. Uh, this is academia simulation, actually. Uh, well. Yes. It's purple. <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to do a stunt next time in the field and dress up like this with a... You should. Photo, <laughs> yes. It looks I'll tolerable. I'll try to get a piercing. <laughs> <laughs> you can try. <laughs> you can try that. I mean, it would... It, it would probably work, but like, would you really give up the linen shirt to wear that? Well, it can be linen. I do have long linen stuff like that. Perfect. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, 
and tunics. That works. Let's both pull that. Ma'am. The empire collapse. Ma'am, do not give me attitude. Isn't the fall the movie about Hitler? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Wow. So we're, we're getting into historical determinism here. Oh, it has fallen oh, it before has and it will fall again. Okay. Found what? Or the ca the cause? Hmm. Inside. Hmm. Mm hmm. Somebody said here, tenured professor who doesn't appreciate her grad student, and then somebody replied, the most psi and less phi part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Good, yes. That's fair. Oh, that is nice. Oh, shit. Oh, so they are treating the, the robots like shit. That's nice. Okay. Skeptical, Alia is skeptical. I mean, I I can I see I see some resemblance. <laughs> uh, one last thing, no, no, let me go, let me go. So it's something that happened in the past and might happen in the future. She's like, we want to know what will happen. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing the Izu trying to avoid the catastrophe. Ah, uh, no, exactly. that's my Assassin's Creed training, but it does sound like that, right? Okay, yeah, of course, you worry too much. Okay, so if the Empire, from what I'm understanding, was a brutal society based on slavery, and they are a slightly less brutal society also based on slavery, then yes, maybe they will fall. Am I getting this right? Hey, listen to the, the inside. The game adapts what it tells you by what you have already found. Ooh, that is cool. Mm. Okay. Also, why why is he, why is he six? Where are one to five? Has she already lost five of these? Not just yet. Um where is the library? Down. <laughs> Need to explore campus. Mm -hmm. Where's the library? Where's the cafeteria? Where's the bookstore? <laughs> uh, in, where is the canteen? <laughs> where's the canteen? Uh, oh, she's like a mother to me. Dr. Like a mm, doctor. Uh, in fact, I call my mentor Dr. Mama. They know too much, these people of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they did choose you after yes, investigating. Yeah. No, I'm joking. <laughs> under the portico. Oh, where? Yeah. Go back. Okay. I keep trying to run, but I can't because this is not a game in which I can run. This is not FIFA. I cannot, I cannot dash. It's behind you, yeah. You have to go back to the sculpture, and then I think you have to turn right. Oh, where this guy just came? This lady yeah, just came out? Yeah. Oh, okay. The library. Excellent. Okay, so let's do some more philology. Um, <laughs> that, this is a, a tiny library. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> ah, yes, hello. They have hard disks with, with everything else. Fair, fair. Wow, that's not racist at all. Um, okay. That sounds like you've been reading too much. Okay. A moon of ghosts. A moon ruled by a buried god. The jungle of trees made of teeth. Okay. Um, let's just be cynical. 
people are trying to get by. People are dying. He's dead, Wang. Hey. Okay. Yes, I'm. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> You're supposed to die in soft chairs, <laughs> watching the fountains. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Yes, thank you. Let's look at artifacts. Let's talk about language. Uh, let's get the container first. Are they all wrong? Okay, okay. Uh, divide, maybe? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Drifting in the wash. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Drifting in the wash is the typical when they found antiquity <laughs> illegally in Italy. So I just found it by the beach. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. If this down the yeah. yeah. My grandmother's attic. Yeah, it's always in my grandmother's attic. <laughs> yes. I um, inherited this and I found it in my grandmother's house before we sold it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Um, and it is really, oh yeah, I was working in my was field working. and I found this thing. I'm like, mm, okay. Okay, so this is not sales. No. Excellent. Uh, maybe travel, maybe pets. What do we think of this one? Help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Show the path? Show the path? Open the path? Is that an opening <laughs> thing? I don't know. Show, why oh. not? Why not? Okay, let's see. This guy's gonna be like, oh, you archaeologist. <laughs> you never understand languages. Oh, yes, give us more inscriptions. Oh, so they have catacombs. Okay, okay. Shiny verbal pref prefix. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of excitement <laughs> about grammar. <laughs> <laughs> so what does this say? I don't know. I don't fucking know, dude. What do you want from me? Okay, but that. Is, but if that one is we, then this one maybe is yourself, right? Same mm. structures, just just one smidge mm. instead of several, which may be a plural. Mm. And the long thing might be the self. I I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's go. Let's go with with Socratic. Know thyself. Uh, I I think it's very logical, Kate. 
right? I have zero logic. I'm I'm just <laughs> I don't know. I'm bad. I can't see the chat. I I I, I have no idea. Um uh, no, I'm not finished with it. You're not taking this, dude. I don't know if you're gonna sell it on the black market, so no. But we have another artifact. We have the, uh, the scarf. We have a statue. Oh, we have a statue, of course. With the inscription. Right, 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 the one with the light. Okay, fine. Fine. Aha. Uh -huh. So is it follow the holy light? Is this follow the yellow brick road? This phrase, I'm not convinced by your translation. I'm not convinced. That's, that's like uh, Professor 101. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm not convinced. Could you try this? Oh, oh my god. Ooh. Brianna, what's the chat doing? Are they insulting me for my non abilities? <laughs> no, not at all. Um weird, but okay. We'll take that. Well somebody wants to know where else are you going to dig up robots out of a concrete slab? <laughs> I mean Oh, they say uh yeah, nobody nobody wants to um Offend you, Kate. Don't worry. We all love you so much. Oh, sure, <laughs> sure. I bunch of. <laughs> okay, so we have the goddess. Do we have you? Okay, so that's not us. Okay, I'm fu I fucked up. Oh, apparently you're going to meet somebody else to swap finds with. Oh, that's excellent. I don't... Excellent, okay. You is, is right. Excellent, okay. I, I, I don't know. Defense watches. Well, I don't. I don't know yet. This one is also weird. I mean, I want to assume that it's May. So, like, May the goddess. Uh, you. Juan is well. Juan is very helpful. <laughs> uh, it's just. It's just that I. I suck at languages. Um, let's see, let's see if it's watches. Let's see if he has anything else like that. Let me see. Oh, come on, dude. Give us something. Oh, that's sad. I'm not done with it. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. This is interesting. The difference between artifacts and objects. Hmm. Okay. What do we ask him? We'll we'll get you'll get to the, the three options in a second. We need to choose what to ask this guy. About laborers or who is Mazwai or why all the books have been wiped. Well, ancient books. What do we think? What do we think? Hmm. I mean, we've got to vote for Mazumai. 
Oh, sorry. Um, I pressed the wrong button. He was looking for something, but yes. <laughs> Sorry, Ludo. Um, Next time. <laughs> Ask who. So apparently your uh, philologist friend here um, has been nicer since the original demo, apparently. This is what they're saying in the chat. So they changed him a little bit since then. Oh, to be, to be more helpful? Yeah. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, he People must have complained. <laughs> He's helpful, he's an <laughs> asshole, but he's helpful. <laughs> we hate him, but he's very helpful. <laughs> Let's see about this book, this book, uh, Purge. There just aren't. Oh my god. They were all lost in the fall. Uh, yes, thank you. Just, just. Ah. Oh. I'll see you soon, cry more. Okay. Wow. Okay, aboard the Nightingale. Oh my god, this... So I have to say, I went into this game having no idea what to expect at all. And now I'm taken. Now I want to decipher things. <laughs> now I want to read everything and, and do all the inscription things. Oh my god. Okay. Uh... You're turning into a papyrologist that people go and just for the text dig Never. up things. Never. I could have, <laughs> but I chose but not to. That's, that's what happens <laughs> to the best of us. Melting cartonage just to find papyri within. I'm going to cry. Um, oh, this this doesn't sound doesn't sound dangerous at all. Yeah, sure. I'm. I'm. Yeah. Still amused that in Moon Knight they uh, they labeled leather as cartonage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that happened. That is. That did happen. Okay. Yeah, there was a what episode was it? Uh, I don't know. Whatever episode that was, they there was a like a coffin or something, and they were talking about cartonage, and then, and then when they finally showed the quote unquote cartonage, it was some kind of like leather material or something. <laughs> yeah, it didn't look like cartonage at all. <laughs> no. It was it was okay. confusing. Also, he he just ripped it from the mummy. Yeah. You can do an autopilot. I'm going to rest. Look at that. That's perfect. Oh, That's fantastic. Bill is here. Hey, Bill. We have reached uncharted waters. Okay. We are in a... Uh, on a ship. Okay, he's still driving. Excellent. I'm not, I'm not touching. This is perfect. This is the, the kind of driving I like. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, is somebody else driving? I missed it. Yes, Six is driving. I am <laughs> sitting back and relaxing <laughs> instead of being deadly afraid of crashing into things. I appreciate the devs uh, not putting deadly incidents or accidents in this driving thing, but gods. Um, uh, Oh, now I'm... Okay, I was driving again, and now I'm not. So, no, I wasn't... I wasn't just on autopilot. I, the, the thing was just going. Okay. <laughs> okay. But that doesn't make me nervous at all, dude. Okay. We are in... Here be lions, but I guess space lions? Okay. Yeah. 
Oh no. Okay. So I can see that the rivers are stronger here, dude. Oh my god. It's like that one time we were driving to... There we go, I can give him the commands. And we were trying to drive in, in Tomb Raider. And it did not work. Ooh, we are in in some strong stream here. Okay. Ooh, okay. Now you're zooming. Whoosh. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Okay, what is the turn? <laughs> so miss a turn. No! Miss that turn. That that um... does sound like uh, driving in Italy. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever driven in Egypt? Uh, I've driven in Sudan. Okay. It's not that. Uh, it's not that different. Actually, I was much more comfortable driving in the desert than driving in Khartoum, because traffic is um, something else. <laughs> and then there was this Indian guy who was like uh, with Egyptians, and the Egyptians were telling you, "Ah, I'm sure you in Egypt have found uh, very crazy things in traffic." He said, "What?" I come from India. <laughs> much, much worse there. Dude. How? Traffic. How can traffic be worse traffic anywhere jam. else? Traffic jams can last for... Uh, can take like a couple of days to resolve. Well, <laughs> you know, you got time. Oh my god. You may have to choose one and explore. I'm trying to choose. Isn't this the sandy place? Anyone who's played before? Ooh, I see it. Something's up ahead. <laughs> yes, it's a giant rock. Okay. It is quite safe. It is quite safe. Not totally, but quite. I mean, I don't think... Recommended to check the map from time to time. I will once I'm out of the cutscene. Uh-huh. Oh, this is cool. This looks like a... Yeah. This is desert E. I guess there's no water. A pile of rocks. Thank you. Oh, there was water. Looks properly Sudan here. With the... It does, it does. I was about to say it. The yellow sand. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the black rocks. Oh, man. It does, it does. We'll see if... I have a feeling about this one. I've, I feel vibes. We, we don't do archaeology here, we just vibe. I hope we'll be grateful when we find him. We are taking considerable risk. I mean... If I drive, yes. If I'm not driving, <laughs> we are safer. Then we will, I suppose you might call it hope. Okay. Let's go, let's go. She seems really done with everything. I love her. Just like constantly unimpressed and done with everyone's bullshit. I, I like it. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. We got architecture. We can't see it yet. <laughs> oh, you'll see it. <laughs> okay, but this is like... Uh, or, or, uh, 
Ooh, that okay. looks so cool. This is so cool. You're not that late um, on the stream compared to what I'm seeing. Okay. Someone built this? Maybe the guy you're looking for. Well, I, I think it collapsed. I think it collapsed. That looks like a, <laughs> a destruction layer. <laughs> you know. You could vault, heaven's vault, <laughs> over the over the thing here. Yeah, let's go. Okay, that was grateful. I would not walk inside the ruin. Bill, are you in the chat? Let's talk about structural integrity. What is going on here? <laughs> Oh, wait, there's a room here. Okay, so it's the whoa, okay, a rough bed. And there's an inscription, excellent, it's old. Jesus. Okay. Okay, if that's you, this may be day. This, oh, that's a long. this is a long one but it, it has to do with light because that thing is like maybe nebula because there's the wrong the 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 round thing and then the three things see that's that that's exactly how i translate hieroglyphs <laughs> okay uh maybe i don't know let's see i i when don't know come again light Mars Nebula make makes sense, yeah? it, right? It does make sense. Right, uh, and the other one is stars. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Um, I think this is they. Stars with apostrophe. Oh. Did you notice that? <laughs> I did. What is this word? I don't know this word. The third from the left, the left. What is, what is it? I mean, we don't, we don't know many of these. I don't think we can complete it yet. We can take notes. We can, oh, oh we have to put the, to put the words in. I see, I see. Um, Okay. I've no idea what we should put here. Um what is the what is it just saying? Oh go ahead and, and guess. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh excellent. So this may be but I think th uh, this is either shoot or intent, right? Oh wait, what if it's what if it's very dark? And it's intent to harm. Where did you go? 
Ja, yeah, telenovela. I've no idea. <laughs> okay. Uh, help. Help. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know this one. It's not God, clearly. I... Maybe stranger? I have no idea. This sentence makes no sense, but that's okay. It will. <laughs> eventually. Yeah. Stranger next. Yeah. Oh, scratched by someone lying down. Was someone dying here? Mm. What if it was Death Nebula? Oh, Ooh. that would have been so cool. <laughs> okay. I like how he said like intact. So, Kate, there was some cat drama occurring in the last oh 10 minutes. Oh my. Pretty intense. Cat number Check three out. was. Death Nebula. Death Nebula. <laughs> Good name. <laughs> I mean that that sounds like uh, someone's someone's moniker. Like if you're a if you're like a a singer from a, a heavy metal band or something, or maybe the name for the band. Ooh, another box. Can we open it? Open the box. <laughs> Shoot the box. Explode the box. Oh. Oh, so she's had other robots. Okay. Okay. I see. Uh-huh. That's why. So in the meantime, we attempted to... We attempted to find another inscription. To decipher another inscription and failed. Terribly. And someone grew too old or too ill to climb back upstairs. Oh, this is sad. Okay. Wow. Oh. So now this is a crime scene. Wait. No, I don't want that. I want the other thing. Let me go. Let me go. Let's use the fire poker. Excellent for prying. Oh, there's an inscription. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go off a limb and say that this is fire. Right? Symbols on the lid. Oh my god, more symbols. Help. Wow, we don't know any of these. Fantastic. <laughs> I want to say that's, of. That's like me trying to read hieroglyphs. <laughs> I want to say more enormous words, because it's know. a lot. Ah, yeah. Let's be let's be let's be very European. Treasures of enormous value. The start of Holy Emperor. That was just the first two words, and now we are boom, progressing. I mean, progressing is a nice way of putting it. Now I'm just, you know, 
trying to put things here. <laughs> okay. Girl, don't snap the lock. There was smoke outside. We're all being family in the chat right now, Kate. Sharing our, our channels and such. Oh, please. Do. Just follow, follow each other. Talk to each other. <laughs> it is a love fest. <laughs> that, is, that is good. Sasa has brought us all together. It is true. Incredible. Ooh, oh, shit. Another artifact. Or are you going to see it in speaking a second? Of, uh, speaking of plugging things, Kate, I'm just going to go for it and say uh, Kate and I are doing oh, yeah. a uh, reading group on Egyptian gods and uh, modern media. And it starts June 14th. Keep your papers peeled on Sasa to uh, get the link for that if you are interested in, in signing up. It's an eight-week class, Tuesdays at noon, from June 14th to August 2nd. Oh, yeah. Um, and in this, and, and, and in the meantime, we are doing archaeology. We found an ancient uh, crown. <laughs> Which um, brings me to a question that many people ask me um, when I tell them I'm an archaeologist, and I'm asking to all, all of y'all who are in the in the video call with me: um, Have you ever tried on something that you found? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. We don't do that. It is bad <laughs> practice. <laughs> it's bad practice. But somehow, the thing no, I go found go. was a piece of cheese. So I don't think someone would like to try a <laughs> roll of cheese. Imagine, we already get diarrhea from fieldwork food. So imagine trying out cheese that's almost 2,000 years old. I, I need, I need to know more about this yeah. cheese. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God. Um, where, wait, where did you find ancient cheese? Ancient in Harga. cheese. In Harga. Harga. Oh my god. Ein Omedabedeb, yes. That's the archaeological site where we work. Wow. Wow. No, we, we never... I'm well, thinking if we ever found food. Of the cheese. It was dry, but... And it still smelled of <laughs> That was my question! <laughs> <laughs> gross. gross. Yeah, incredibly gross. <laughs> oh. Give me a crack. <laughs> the forbidden no, it was white cheese. It was not yellow cheese. It's very, you know, in Egypt, we make this uh, Aris cheese, which is traditional made cheese. It looked exactly like it, but dry and hard. Ruby? No, not Ruby cheese. Um, it's called Aris. Oh, I don't know that yeah. one. I need yeah. to eat it now. <laughs> no, it's you'll find women doing it in markets. Yeah. Mm, okay. It's, it's done manually. It's like one a, that uh, an Egyptian version of cottage cheese. Oh, okay. Huh. What about mish? Eh, I don't. I do not like mish. mish is secondary station. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I love mish. mish. It's almost like the Roman cheese. <laughs> I love mish. <laughs> uh, I tried it once. I, I didn't know what to expect. And yeah, I had like a, a big old chunk of it. <laughs> you did well. <laughs> now you are completely immune to <laughs> any other kind of food in Egypt. Oh. I love mish. Actually, I now feel like I need to have some mish. <laughs> she sent me down. The from. <laughs> Um, when we were in Sudan, we were offered, we were very nicely um, offered uh, freshly made cheese and um, camel milk. And I was saved from having explosive diarrhea by the fact that I am lactose intolerant. So I declined saying that I would die if I tried it. Um, some other people in my expedition were not as lucky. They did not think about making excuses. Um, and it was not a nice night for them. It was, I mean, the cheese looked delicious, but the camel milk, oof, oof, 
we don't have the enzymes for that. We're too white. I've it's never thick. tried camel milk. It's dense. It's thick. And the, the, the lady camel was surely unpleased, you know, not very pleased that we were pushing the, the baby away to get the milk, but he was <laughs> also was not pleased. Um, but it was, it looked like cream and it was, I mean, it was fantastic, but like, I cannot have any lactose. It was like, I thought, I told our, our inspector, please tell them to not get offended. But like, if I, if I try that, I, I'm, I'm going to die. Like I'm going to be out of, out of commission for two weeks. <laughs> I'm going to be deceased. <laughs> You're going to have to, you know, find me, find me somewhere else and bring me water in my veins because I'm going to die. Um, Ludo but, yeah, says the. Uh... Wait, Kate, you're lactose intolerant? How have you not had your Italian citizenship revoked from lack of cheese? <laughs> well, I drink insane amounts of coffee. So I make my own coffee in a coffee pot. So I think that makes up for it. <laughs> um, but, uh, well, um, I think also cheese and, and coffee is part of um, the test for Italian citizenship that people um have to take so we'll see in three years <laughs> when my significant other has to take that test how well she feels. what are your opinions on cappuccino at night my opinions on cappuccino at night why why would you drink caffeine at night you absolute barbarian and why would you want milk after the morning also you absolute barbarian what kind of question is this no <laughs> no <laughs> I've, I've uh, read that Italians get especially upset when people talk yes, about do. cappuccino after dinner or something. <laughs> yes, we do. Because <laughs> it makes no I sense. Used to, I used to drink cappuccinos in the afternoon and the evening, and I stopped since I got married. Th thank you. Thank, thank you. you. So you so you can yeah. get Italian citizenship. <laughs> so now you're, you're allowed. I <laughs> have 10 years ago, but um, I decided I'm too much of an Egyptian. Maybe later. Maybe when I get old <laughs> and wise. <laughs> no, they reject no. her because of this. She tried, but this, uh, you you drink cappuccino after lunch. Yeah, no, you're you're banned. <laughs> That's <laughs> what my uh, my wife cannot drink coffee, so I think she's gonna be banned as well. So I, I'm, I'm oh. <laughs> so I can't pasta or pizza. It's also very good. That is also bad, man. Man, we're. Uh... This is this is trouble. This is troublesome. But then again, like maybe if you take like the 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 exam, like when you're when you're older, uh, maybe they're gonna ask you like to behave like an old Italian woman. So they're gonna ask you if you wear like floral dresses and sit outside on plastic chairs, like chatting and gossiping with all your neighbors. Um, maybe you can check my swear word glossary. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. You, I'm I sure sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. Swear words. I think I'm very proud of my Italian swear words. I would love to test them. Unfortunately, we need to. <laughs> we cannot right now. But <laughs> Once... Kate, same person. Uh, we have a comment. Kate is the only person I know would speak about explosive diarrhea on camera live. So let's not <laughs> go <from> this line. <laughs> One is my favorite, and it, it's not a swear word. No, I have to say that. It's. I learned this from. The sister of Rita, my my close friend, my Italian close friend, um, and she was driving me from Milan to Pisa, and she was very bothered by the driving of uh, older people. So she invented this weird word called "stenditi ketabitui." Lie down so you get used to it. <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I, I, um, <laughs> <laughs> that that goes well with uh what people say in rome so you know oh maybe tomorrow you're gonna wake up cold so i, yeah. I see a resemblance there which is a nice italian way of saying maybe tomorrow you'll wake up in a coffin um yes. so yeah 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 that's good we we, we completely derailed this stream which is fantastic please yeah. <laughs> continue <laughs> Uh, we also found a map in the meantime, and I attempted to uh, to interpret things. But, sir, sir, move. Okay, well, what about the smoke? Is the... It's a kind of industrial archaeology that she's doing. The buildings are pretty intact. and uh, Yeah. It's oh. and, um, which is still archaeology. So. Still archaeology. I mean, you know, Bill would know. Um, when we were streaming Uncharted 4, we had whole 
discussions about like would this building still be standing and what like would the wood st still be there i think in a dry climate like this and like like egypt and sudan wood and um uh stuff like this basket which you're gonna see in five seconds would probably still you know still be there if this was a smidge more humid probably not This is taking a dark, a dark turn. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> oh. What, the locations. Mean, the locations are pretty, pretty nice in the game. They when are. You, when you move from moon to moon and other, you know. In the, even the imagination of the buildings and the architecture. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this is this a ritual place? Is this for <laughs> ritual purposes? It looks ritual to me. Ritual enigmatic object. Well, a stone pedestal with someone in it. Is it the water goddess, right? Looks like her. Hmm. Poor quality work. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that? That's funny. They should tell us a little more about this place. Yeah, we're not selling this shit on the black market. And there's something carved. I knew it. Okay. So I recognize the sign for a god, right? A yeah, goddess. Okay. I mean, I. No, but I was trying to translate. I mean, I want I want to say that it looks like a ver the cannabis, but um, the uh, uh, plants maybe instead of harvest. Let's be let's be more, uh, you know, more vague. Mm -hmm. Okay, the shrine. <laughs> uh huh. So it is imported stone. Interesting. Interesting. Ritual, ritual. We've been two hours. Okay, ritual and important. No, I don't want to go back to the ship. I want to see what that smoke was. Can we go towards the smoke? Thank you. Let's go, let's go. You know what they say, when there's smoke, there's roast. Is that so? I've this... never heard that before. It doesn't translate in English. Oh! <laughs> In Italian, we do say that. Oh, wow. Okay, something crashed here. Oh, shit. Okay. It was a ship. I wouldn't touch something that is still burning. Ma'am. Maybe you can still save them. I mean, there's been an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> they don't usually explode. You don't know what kind of suit they're wearing that can protect you from explosions. <laughs> it's fair. fun. Uh, science fiction, anyways. Maybe she's wearing she's wearing hyper linen linen that can protect her and go and get down there. No, I, I don't. Oh ho! Something under the wood. Oh, <laughs> you'll see. <laughs> Please don't be an arm. <laughs> <laughs> an heirloom. Hmm. Oh. 
Another inscription. This is cool. Okay, another inscription. Okay. Sorry. We have form. We have a sale. Yes. Good. Good. Okay. I have to, uh, to leave because I have a TV uh, commentary on the Louvre arrest. Uh, oh. The arrest. The Louvre <laughs> So I I have to to leave to prepare. It's uh, in a few minutes. So I need oh to prepare. Oh my God! You you didn't have you didn't have to stay for this long. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. I'm Great. very happy with this, and I'd be looking forward to have to do other things. Thank you so much for being with us and dealing with our delirious interpretation of games and, and technology and for answering questions and for being a good sport. <laughs> it, it, has been, it has been a great pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Enjoy. you. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Well, I'll have to close as well because I, otherwise there is a conflict of people talking. Oh, yeah. I don't think, I don't think um, <laughs> OBS is going to explode. Uh, but I think we can actually uh, close the close the whole thing once you leave. So um, get get I mean, like I finish the game tonight. Mm -hmm. I, I, wish I, could, I wish I could play more. Are you going to do? All right. Well, um, also, uh, Doctor yeah. Salvoldi, thank you for being here uh, and being a firecracker as always. <laughs> um, and thank we'll you. we'll see you soon. Cheers. Enjoy. All right. People, thank you, hosts. Bye. 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 All right. Let's see. Let's see if the stream crashes. If it explodes after he leaves, I don't think it will. But it's, it might take us a minute. One second. No. Okay. We're fine. We're good. Look at that. Um, Ooh, I'm just excellent. elongated. That's all. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. Um, so. And all of the space. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's try let's try this. And then I don't think it's it's sale for home. Ma'am, you have a troubling grasp of grammar. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> okay, but I think we have a lot. Like we've we've done we've done a lot. Oh ho, aside from the mural. Oh, we have new new things to explore. All right. Um I think how do I know if this is saved? Let's save just now. All right. Um, so since we are at the two hours mark, uh, and I really did not realize how for how long we had gone, um, I think we can uh, we can stop here. Uh, I'm seeing the chat going absolutely crazy. Thank you, everyone, um, for showing up in in numbers. Um, thank you for keeping the chat uh, lively and, and engaging everything. Thank you for sending questions. Um, thank you, Brianna, for co-hosting this. Um, it was a pleasure, as always. Oh, thank and you. For, for doing the honors <laughs> at the beginning. Um, oh. Next week, we will be um, here. We will be back um, half an hour later than today. Uh, and I believe our next guest was in the chat. Um, we're going to have uh, Dr. Serrano Lozano uh, to talk about the, uh, you know, the game and in, from some, some, some different, some different <laughs> uh, angles. Um, and we will, we will post on social media, we'll post on everything. Uh, so just 2.30 um, Eastern time. And then the week after, we will uh, be again on, uh, you know, our, our usual time. Um, and Alexander will be back. Uh, but Brianna, you know that you're always welcome to be in the chat, oh, to be a guest, to be you. with Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Never miss uh, it. And yeah, so I hope us. everyone enjoyed. This was a weird experience. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like this game. Uh, I mean, it was, it was weird because I didn't know what to expect and this was not it. So fantastic. I love it. Uh, and, <laughs> um, and with that being said, um, thank you, everyone. I think I'm going to attempt to stop the stream. Uh, so we'll see you all uh, next week. Thank you.